Good morning guys from Manila in the Philippines. Today we are staying in a luxury hotel, not just any luxury hotel, one of the best hotels in all of Manila. We are staying at Sofitel Plaza. Let's head in there now and see what this hotel is about. I'm hoping it's gonna be very good. Five star, very expensive, very good service. Hello. Sir, uh, can I have your last name for your luggage? Yep. Jagar. Thank you, Wayne. Just do present this upon check into the front desk. Perfect. So uh, right after check-in, we will just send your luggage to you. Perfect. Thank you, Wayne. You're doing okay. some blood tests? Yes. Okay. Okay. What is your channel so we can Oh, we've got three new subscribers. Yes, sir. Hello, Sheila. How are you? Is that you say? Sheila or Shella? Sheila, sir. Sheila. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, this is a huge hotel. This way? Oh, it's kind of busy as well. Are you a vlogger, sir? I am indeed. Okay, I still need to make the booking. Is that possible? Ah, here we go. So first we are going to go get the booking. Well, you got the the, the color of ube, of course. What other color would there be? Thank you very much. Thank you, Jean. Hello, Kim. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Never been better. Um, I don't have a booking yet, but I'd like to make a booking and just see. Well, the prices are here. Maybe I book online or maybe I book with you. Sure, sure. I'll give you the best available. Perfect. For how many nights? Uh, one night. The just a standard room, but if you if you are able to offer any kind of upgrades for the video, of course, that would be great. You can have a look at the channel. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, just uh, paid for the room, and very nicely they are taking us. Kim is taking me for a nice little drink. <laughs> We've got a, a welcome drink whilst we wait for the room. Thank you so much, Kim. And they've even gone to the additional touch to deliver the key cards to me when I'm finished. Hello, I how are you? I have a certain table for your welcome drink. What do you prefer, sir? Window side? Oh, yeah. window would be great. Thank you. Okay. Wow, look at this. Nice little bar. It's, it's a huge hotel, isn't it? Wow. Got nice chandeliers. Over here, perfect. Oh, some Hennessy. <laughs> okay. no, I'm joking. And uh, the pool area, we'll, we'll head out there in a little bit. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, for the welcome drinks, I think it comes with uh, chilled juices. Okay. Uh, sodas, coffee, and tea also. What and would you recommend? Housewife. What would you recommend? How about housewife? Like uh, red wine or white wine? Oh, alcohol? Yes. I'm okay for alcohol for now. It's a little bit too early in the day. Ah, okay. So, uh, uh, juices? Juice. Like mango, orange, mango juice. cranberry. Straight away, guys. I come in, there's like five people on me, like trying to help me get my bags, get anything. They, they, they were running to my help. Then I go over and order, uh, book the room, came to around, I can't remember how much it was, but I got an upgrade, which is great. Um, lovely receptionist, Kim, gives me a welcome drink. So I come over to the bar, we're playing some slow jazz over here. I'm getting treated like a king guys, I can't complain at all and they're just making up the room for me because I, I'm guessing because it's an upgrade they are maybe just double checking it, double checking and so I'm happy to wait here for as long as possible if I've got two free drinks and I, I could have got alcoholic but it's a little bit too early for me to get alcoholic um, so yeah first impressions of this place. It's, it's like a resort. It's honestly like a resort. It doesn't really feel like a hotel. It feels like more of a complex. They, they do call it Sofitel Plaza, so that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, can't wait to show you guys around. This is gonna be epic. Thank you very much, Russell. You're right, thank you. There we go. Thank you very much. Nice little mango smoothie. Ooh, baby. All right, well, you guys, anyone who watches my hotel reviews, you know there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> that was so good, so fresh. We have made it, we are heading up to the room, we've got a little package which I'll show you guys when we get up there. We've also got Jean accompanying us in her nice little dress, the ube, ube coloured dress that they all love here in the Philippines. Um, so I'm so excited. So we're I'm, is it called the presidential, the suite, presidential suite? Yes, sir. Oh, that sounds, that sounds luxurious. Well, we've got nice little marble ceiling. We've got nice lights. How many rooms do you have here? How many rooms do you have? Actually, sir, I think it would be 300, uh, 300 plus. 300? Yes. Wow, okay. And is it busy at the moment? Um, actually, sir, and this way, sir. Here we go. 
it's not kind of BTS or compare on weekends. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, it's a weekday. Oh wow, this is very, very dark in here. <laughs> How come you have the dress like that? Just for. Um, this is our um, national uh, Philippine gown, sir. Ah. We call it uh, Maria Clara gown. Maria. Clara. Maria Clara. Yes. Ah, like the. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very nice. So we're heading up to the sixth floor. Yes. I'll show you guys. Oh wow, there's a dentist. There's a casino. Yeah. Is there a? I'm looking for a salon. Is there a salon? Um, sir, actually, as of the moment, we have salon, but at this time, sir, it's not Close. yet operational. Okay. Yes. Okay. Only the salon, sir. Okay. Perfect. Okay. On well, the left. Thank you very much. Well, a nice little carpet floor. See, it goes all the way down. It must mm -hmm. be like 50 meters down. What's that? Pool view. You pool view. Oh, yes, pool view you're treating me. Yes. So Christmas, guys. <laughs> is this your first time sir, in Sofitel? First, uh, I've stayed in Sofitel in other countries, in but other countries. not but in, in Sofit uh, Philippines. First time in Philippines, yeah. So I'm gonna get to see the Filipino hospitality. <laughs> I've heard it's the best in the world. Yes. Yes, your room, sir, will be staying room six five four. Thank you so much. Wow. Here. Oh, it's already, they've already got the aircon on. Whoo! Oh my god. That is incredible. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. So, Miss Kim already um, briefed you with regards to the hotel uh, facilities and hotel yep. info, sir, as well as for the welcome um, letter. Yep. She already mentioned about the in room dining. Yep. So, regarding for the room, sir. Once the air condition is on, um, once the sliding door sir, is open, the air condition with the uh, sliding uh, closer. It so will you close. can check that one sir on the thermostat. Ah. This as well for the bathroom sir, you can uh, dial zero sir, okay? Thank okay. you so much, Jean. Right. Okay. Please enjoy your stay sir. I will, I will indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. And this room is incredible. So they did upgrade me. I bought a standard double room and they've upgraded me to i think it's called the presidential suite <sighs> that just sounds that gives you a little clue as to what we're getting here um I, I need to double check that because i did ask her and she said yes but i'm not 100 percent sure whether it is but anyway i will show you this room we'll start off with the main attraction which is this bed king bed with a nice little um Kind of sofa at the end of the bed. We've got the TV. They've they've been playing some uh, some like cinematics from India, which was my last country. So kind of giving me a little bit of nostalgia. And then we got the mini bar of dreams. Look at this. We can get our dry martini, shaken not stirred. I'm only joking, guys. Probably won't have anything alcoholic. Well, maybe I will. You never know. Uh, we got coffees, teas. Everything just perfectly slides out. Marble, everything's so sleek. I like the design of the room. Like they've gone for like darker colors, and of course we got the ube color. Then down here they said that there's nothing in this fridge because that's just a thing they do in Asia at the moment with the pandemic. They just don't. They never put anything in. But that's fine because I would probably spend a lot of money drinking things from there anyway. I'm gonna do a little bed test. Oh, it's a soft one. It's a soft one. Oh, yes. Yes, it's been a while since I've had a soft bed like this. And we just, don't forget about the pillow. Oh, oh fluffy pillow. <laughs> okay, moving on. We've got some nice artwork up here. We've got Paris. Oh my God, I gotta be careful not to uh, smash that. Nice little work desk area over here for moi. A nice little meditation chair for me over here. I'm gonna make sure to get my meditation in. Got a nice little sleep design over here. Um, even the wall, the backboard. And coming into the bathroom, I haven't actually been in here yet, but we've got a nice little window here so you can, I don't have anyone else staying with me, but you can, if you did have someone staying, you could peek at them whilst they're in the shower. And then we've got the standard lotions and toothbrushes waters over here a nice little mirror i've seen it in a lot of these philippine bathrooms they have a mirror and it zooms in on your face 
I'm not sure if you guys can see, hold on. Oh no, you can't see, obviously. But when I look in the mirror, I can see every little pimple and uh, problem on my face. So maybe it's not a good thing, but anyway, we've got standard, nice little shower. Um, the shower, this is a really weird thing, but the shower pressure in the Philippines is actually extremely good. Don't know, <laughs> don't know who needs to know that, but that's the truth. Now, the main event. Ooh, look at this, guys. Nice little pool complex here. This is the reception area where I was having my drink earlier. We've got a nice little outdoor area. We've got a uh, cabana area. So there's actually, the good thing about this hotel is there's actually uh, quite a few different amenities here in terms of restaurants and bars, things like that. We've also got a nice little uh, ocean area. So there's some hammocks and um, sun lounges. We also see some guys with tennis rackets, which makes me think that there's a tennis court and I think I can see tennis lights over there. But I keep beating around the bush. Look at this view guys. We've got the sun is starting to set and the clouds are going nice little color. Unfortunately, we probably won't get the greatest sunset because it's a cloudy day. But even so, you don't get views like this very often. And then we just got the main city over here. So this is Pasai. We've got the fort, port over there. And I think we're, this is the start of uh, Rock, Roxas' Boulevard. Oh, there's a slide as well. Oh my God, we ought to do that. Oh, whoa, look at that. We've got a plane as well. It's and just a couple of other things that set this place apart from everywhere else. We've got a 20% discount at the restaurant here. We've also got a drinks voucher for uh, another drinks voucher. They, they gave me one as I arrived and they gave me another one. I also like how I got two key cards, not one. It's just a small thing, but all the small things add up. We've also got a daily shuttle to the Mall of Asia, which is actually fairly close, so maybe we'll head there. Um, we've got two pool um, wristbands, so obviously I'm guessing there must be like guest access to the pool for people who aren't staying at the hotel, so it's nice that we were able to get that. And then some other small things which I like to note is that we've got English plugs, which is nice. We've got the option to have different types of plugs. We've also got a USB here and HDMI. Not that I'm gonna use it, but it's always nice to have options and like clearly accessible plugs. Sometimes, actually a lot of the time I go to hotels and they have plugs like you have to reach down really far to get something really inconvenient. So very small things, but they do all add up and I really like it so far. If I had to say negatives, I would say right now I'm struggling to connect to the Wi-Fi. And then the other negative is the, the balcony is a little bit uh, outdated. But the room in the room is perfect. I think they're definitely renovated, but out, outdoor could do with a little renovation. Yeah, that's the only bad things I got to say about this place so far. Everything else is perfect. And finally, we have the speed test, which is gonna be pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, oh well, we're still going. We're still going. 20, oh, that's decent. That is very, very decent. It's not great, but it's very, very decent. And then upload. I'm not expecting this to be very high at all. It's teasing me. It's teasing me. Okay, so 12 uploads, 30 downloads. Pretty good, actually, pretty good. Um, I've had better at the Ramada, uh, which was cheaper, actually, in uh, Benondo. But uh, for a big, big hotel of this size, you wouldn't expect it to be that quick. Um, and that's not the main reason I'm here for quick Wi-Fi. It's just an added extra. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. All right, guys, now, I'm back at the main area and I'm going to check out the facilities of this place. You can tell it's pretty big because we've got six elevators. Usually I'm staying in hotels with one or two maximum, so it's nice to have six. It means you're never waiting too long for a elevator. Look at this, we've got 30% off. Okay, we've got to choose where we're going. Let's start at P and work our way up, I reckon. So we've got the restaurant, fitness center, swimming pool, sunset pavilion, function room, and then we've got more amenities up here, more amenities up here, and then something on the 10th floor. Club Miles Simi. Interesting. 
And yeah, I, this caught my eye because we get 30% off before 4 p.m. on a weekday. Oh, it's already past 4 p.m. Oh well. Okay, let's see what this hotel has to offer. Swimming pool, gym, this way. Let's just have a look. We'll go properly to the swimming pool tomorrow, but I'll just go check it out now. And we'll go properly to the gym tomorrow as well, but I'll just have a look, have a gander, see what there is. Through here is just the swimming pool, spa, gym. We'll just have a quick look, very briefly. Swimming pool we'll see tomorrow. Ooh, we'll have a look. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Hello. Hi, sir. How is the car? Um, yes, sir. Just looking at the spa facilities. Mm -hmm. Do you have a price list? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't planning on getting a spa treatment, but you know, yeah. it's calling my name. <laughs> and we also have here, sir, the wet facilities, steam sauna, jacuzzi, and also the gym. Oh, is that a complimentary or? For in-house guests, yes. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yes. I'll definitely check that out tomorrow then. So we got loads of different, oh, I could do with the jet lag energizer. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. It smells like heaven. And then we've also got the nail shop there. Don't think I'm gonna be getting my nails done anytime soon. I think you can even get a massage there. Well, okay, next up we've got, I think more restaurants down here. This is just another, another entrance as well. Looks like some of it's under renovation. So there's another entrance here. So there's a side entrance. This is just out of bounds. And what is this? Aesthetic lifestyle. Well, we'll, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. I have no idea what this is. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. What is this? Oh, this is Vitura. Vitura. Um, yeah. What is Vitura? Um, it's an aesthetic center. So we do treatments. Treatments? Yeah. What, what type of treatments? Oh, um, facial. Oh, awesome. IV drips. Oh, IV yeah, drip. And oh, machine, wow. Machine treatments. How much is an IV drip? Oh, I will just check with our. Okay, no problem. I'm just. Uh, have a seat first. Okay, thank you. I'm just doing a, a tour of the place, so I'm just filming, but I'll maybe come back later if it's. Oh. Uh, I've always wanted to get an IV drip. Okay. I went in there, <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. And I was like, ooh, how much for an IV drip? And, uh, Wait, what the hell? Casino? Okay, we gotta go see this. I went in asking how much the IV drip and they're like, uh, it's gonna be 50,000. And I was like, okay, no thank you. Oh, look at this. Hello. Wow. No camera? Okay, no problem. Just looking. Is this a casino? Yes, sir. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> that does make sense, no filming. Okay. I'm just, uh, at this point, I'm just wondering. Oh, am I allowed to go up here? There's, there's slots here. I'll give you a quick little twirl. So this is the bar now. Sports bar. We've got pool. Oh, whoa. Chess, table football. This is like a proper lad's den. I feel like we're in America. We've got uh, VIP slot machines. We've got baseball showing. Oh my God probably gonna get copyrighted for this music so I need to keep talking whatever I don't whatever I do don't stop talking and then this is back to the reception this is it spiral apparently it's super super nice looks like it's in there so this is spiral it's below the main restaurant and I'm guess uh, sorry it's below the main reception and I'm guessing they do buffet maybe this is where breakfast is later we got a bar here and View is so beautiful. Look at these chandeliers, like really high ceilings. Everything's so grand. And then we've got the main feature here, the spiral staircase and the spiral sculpture. Super cool. I wonder if I can... Uh... No, there's no staff around. I mean, this goes up to the reception. Okay, well. Maybe you have to get dinner there. I'll ask. I do get 20% off, actually. I'm assuming this is where breakfast will be as well. So breakfast will be so, so good, I'm guessing. But you guys will have to wait to see breakfast. So coming round, we got the events lounge. I guess this is where people come to buy their fancy gowns. These are beautiful to be fair. I don't think I'm gonna be getting anything anytime soon. We've got Haken, which is like pottery, beautiful kids toys, and then Alfred Dula. Alfredilla, 
which is jewelry, jewelry, and again, not stuff that I don't think I'm going to be getting anytime soon, but beautiful nonetheless. This is back where we were, and then, yeah, you really get to see the size of this thing when you see, you know, multiple check-in desks, and then as well as you get to see the booking desk, which is in the far corner. So it's like over a huge, huge area. There's so many details I missed when I was coming in. Oh, I got like really beautiful plants. And then this is where I was earlier, the bar, bar, bistro, and library. I'll just briefly show you. Look at this, guys. We've got some uh, Paris uh, Eiffel Tower cakes. We've got some love hearts, some donuts, and Macron's cookies, coffees, and then snacks here, beef burgers, pizzas, Western food. We don't want Western food, we want Filipino food. And then, yeah, you see people, lots of people just having drinks here. Awesome, maybe I'll come back later. So yeah, guys, that concludes the hotel tour. Um, tomorrow, it's gonna be a cool day. I'm gonna be, gonna be uh, showing you the swimming pool facilities and the gym and the sauna, steam room, everything like that. Might get treatment as well, but yeah. I really am enjoying this. I don't get to treat myself to this kind of luxury very often, but when I do, I appreciate it. I love it. I soak it all up. Uh, last few um, hours, I've just been doing a little bit of work at the desk, and I've just come out and seen this beautiful sunrise, uh, sunset. Probably looks terrible on camera, but believe me, it is good. And you know, even though the clouds are blocking most of it, you can still kind of see the red tint on the water. It's ideal. I love this place. I don't want to ever leave. But yeah, uh, plan is for me to get an early night's sleep and then wake up, go to the gym, and get on with the day. All right, guys. I think it's about time we checked out this uh, pool area. You can see we got like a kids' pool over there, kids' sliding pool. We've got a big slide over there, and then I think the pool just goes round in like a circle. So it's quite a large area, we've got some nice, some drinks over there. Of course there's lifeguards. I was expecting it to be like, from from my from my room, it looked a little bit out, like outdated to this area, but when you're down here, it's actually, it's actually really nice. Um, and of course, we do have a drinks voucher, so we'll go and get a drink, which is really nice. I'll do a full circle of the area, because I think there's actually a little bit more than a little bit more than meets the eye. So far, my ratings for this place, it's got to be an, I'm struggling, 8.5 right now. It's got to be an 8.5 right now. It's not a nine yet. It is a little bit outdated in areas, as you can tell, but they, you can also tell that they've made a real effort to like keep up with the times. It's just probably an old building, that's the, that's the issue. But like they've renovated all the insides, all the fittings and stuff, but sometimes, the, uh, the old design just comes out. So this is the pavilion. This is where you can get a drink or two. We'll, we'll get a drink, we'll get a drink. And then coming up here, we have a nice little chill out area. And we've done a full circle. There we go. There we go. And we have a, a food station over there. Let's see what we can get with this bad boy. Yes, sir. Hello. I have a privilege card. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, soft drinks, beer, Oh, yes, please. Uh, a shake. Could I get a Coke Zero? Coke Zero. Yeah? Two okay. Coke Zero. Uh, two, okay. Yeah, sure. Another one Coke Zero. I need one, but I guess I'll have two. How are you, sir? I'm good, sir. Jarek. Sorry? Uh, yes, please. There we go. Lemon or lime? Oh, yes, please. A bit of lime. Yeah, sure. So, you the master connoisseur of drinks. There you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you very much. They've gone for like the Hawaiian. Is it Hawaiian theme? Hawaiian style. Hawaiian style. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. And here we go, guys. You can see uh, there's actually a, a little walkway, and there's a, there's a spot you can sunbathe in the middle, which is pretty cool. And I didn't even see. There's a there's an area over here. I should have should have got my drinks over there. Hello. Whoa. He slipped already. I'm gonna come and sit here. Oh, I should have come here. 
they've got loads more options here here we go Woo. how are you sir i'm good sir. good glenn i love that they all they all have their name tags on so it's very easy for you to just communicate with them how's life how's the family all good sir <laughs> All good. Uh, back to normal. Back to normal. Back to work. Yes. How long is it? How long have you been back to work? Uh, since uh, February. February. Yes. Yes. When did uh, When did the Philippines open? Open up for tourists. Uh, actually, last uh, November. It November. Was, uh, back to normal. Okay. So it, oh, it's been a few months. It's been a few months. Oh, awesome. That's good. I'm good, I'm good. I'm just uh, first week in Manila and I'm heading to Cebu soon and then we're gonna go see the islands and stuff. Yeah. But loving, loving Philippines so far. What, what is the best thing about the Philippines, do you think? Mm, for me, it's uh, about the islands and the Filipino. Okay, that's good. I, I like that answer because I've asked people before and I, the, first, the first answer I got was uh, drinking alcohol which I was like well that's fair enough but that's not wrong and then the second an answer I got was balut you know balut yeah they said that's the best Are thing about the no 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 yeah no yeah I'm I'm plucking up the courage to we have that one you have it oh oh maybe if it's done professionally that would be better I got I'm gonna double check it's in the menu how many days old? 15 days is better for me, eh? Okay. Because uh, the chick is not <laughs> big. Eh? You're crazy. You, you Filipinos are crazy. How do you it's, do this? Uh, 18 years, uh, it, uh, it's uh, 18 days. Yeah. You see the hair of a uh, duck. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna check. I get okay. Absolutely crazy. How do these people eat a fermented fetus? This place, I've realized. They're designed to take your money. Look at this. How could I say no to one of those beer kegs over there? I mean, thankfully I'm not with the boys. If I was with the boys, we would have 100% got that by now. But uh, no, we're not. We're not. But we've got uh, just lots of different fresh juices, sodas and beers, and then a few cocktails. This is the life, guys. This is the life. So I've gathered that this hotel is definitely designed towards families because they've got a lot of like kids areas and but it's just a huge place i booked it just expecting it to be just a standard hotel but little did i know oh here we go sunset pavilion seawall garden and the tennis court oh look at this guys well like a little park area bow buns power bowls oh so you can come here for lunch Oh, awesome. That oh, doesn't look like it's currently being used. But the food truck area over here, maybe it's open for dinner. And then we've got a nice little uh, seating area over here. So I guess this is for functions. We've got a nice little hammock here. This is epic. And uh, we've been so lucky with the weather. Like it's May and the weather isn't even bad. Like people said monsoon season, be careful of monsoon season, but I don't think it's been bad at all. I mean, maybe when I get to the islands, it'll be more, it'll be worse. But here in Manila, it's not bad, mate. It's not bad. Okay, so in here we have a huge function room. So I guess this is for, hello. This is probably for weddings and stuff. And here we go. We have the seawall. Please do not climb the seawall. I wouldn't dream of it. And then here we have a tennis court. Hi guys, I'm just editing the footage now for this video and you won't believe So, went to go and see the breakfast footage and the whole thing is a time lapse. So, it's not watchable, unfortunately, but it, it was one of, honestly one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. Like there was uh, different breakfast options from different parts of the world. You had Chinese, Korean, uh, French, Filipino, American, and there was like a cheese area the biggest breakfast option and the best breakfast option i've ever had but unfortunately it won't be shown today um, so i apologize for that maybe i can go back another day and show you guys the breakfast but believe me it was one of the best parts of the hotel and if you didn't think this was a good hotel before then you definitely would after 
but yeah, sorry, there won't be any breakfast shown today. Okay, it is time to go to the gym. I think this is where, hello, uh, gym? This is the spa, I've already been here. Let's see. Hello, good morning. Good, thank you, how are you? I'm good, I'm, uh, is the gym this way? Yeah, left okay. side up there. Perfect, thank you. I never really uh, get into a good schedule of going to the gym here whilst I'm traveling, but whenever there is a hotel gym, I try and make the effort to go. I'd say like three days a week minimum. Good morning. Never been better, how are you? Good, good sir, thank you very much. Uh, just a gym session, can I have a quick gym session? Do you have a passing green as well? Yes sir, yeah. if you want to go, yeah, just go downstairs at the reception. Is it outside? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, I will come back. All right, so a little quick tour of this place. This is really, really nice. I have to say, everything's so clean. We've got really nice equipment, like new equipment. Just uh, weights, weights over here, cardio over there. We got waters, coffees. Is this, ah, uh, so you have to pay for the energy drinks. That's fair enough. We've got some like warm towels in there. I think we can get those for free. Some fruits, very nice. And then coming around here, these are really cool to use actually, I might use these. They're like a kinetic, so you basically can, can do lots of different movements uh, just using these two strings. I'll show you guys later. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna be very good, but this is probably the main area that I like to use, the free weights. And once again, I gotta keep talking, because if I don't stop talking, then I'm gonna get a copyright for this music. So whatever I do, I just gotta keep talking. Wow, the weather's so great. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm, I'm just kidding. Well, I do need to keep talking anyway, but... Okay, I'll just do a quick workout and then we'll go and show you the steam room, sauna and everything else. Next up we got steam room, sauna, and there's also jacuzzi, but they said you had to take off your shorts for that, so that'll be interesting. Also, we're gonna have a little bit of light issue in here, but we shall prevail. Let's do a little dip ski, a little water ski on the coal sea. Oh, baby. All right, let's try and uh, sit near the light. Oh, it's a hot one today. Yeah guys, just a, just a quick gym session that was, and I uh, have to say, the facilities are here are just, I think it's just like the size of things, that's the main thing, it's like not incredible, like six star luxury, it's five, definitely five star, but like um, the main thing that like sticks out to me is like just how many things you can do, like they've even got golf, they've got tennis, they've got obviously the casino, multiple bars, multiple restaurants, so it's just like you can never really get bored here, I'm only here for one day but could stay here for a week gonna have a little rinse in the sauna 10 minutes in the sauna maybe a little bit in the steam room and then the jacuzzi but i won't film that because uh i think you have to take your top uh, you have to take your shorts off and obviously other people are in there so i don't want to film oh the steam room is where magical things happen um Yeah guys, if you didn't know what that was, that was me meditating. I like to meditate, especially when I'm in uncomfortable situations because then you really feel the power of your mind. And doing hot water and cold water exposure is one of the best things you can do, honestly. Especially when you go from the hot to the cold. I know I talk about this a lot, but there's a reason I talk about this. It's because I know it works. It's good for your immune system, it's good for your mind, it's good for your mental health. Like literally, there's no bed, there's no negatives apart from you feel like really uncomfortable. But as soon as you stop doing it, you feel incredible. So after this, I'm going to jump in the cold shower, and then uh, yeah, feel amazing. And if I can meditate as well, 
that would be great. But the main thing is the cold water exposure, shocking your body, activating the endo endocannabinoid systems. I'm just chatting shit now, but it, it works, trust me. All right, guys, the time has come to check out. I've had an absolutely epic time here. Probably one of the best experiences I've had at a hotel, like such a huge hotel, so much to do, incredible food, incredible staff. What else is there to say? It was just beautiful. It was like, I, I literally loved my time here. Um, I would definitely come back here. I'd definitely recommend it to other people. I'm trying to think of negatives. Probably the one slight negative, if I had to say one, would be that parts of the hotel were a little bit outdated. But that's really me, that's really me searching for a negative. I didn't, I wouldn't go and say that, like, normally. I think it's just a really, really nice place and I, I would definitely, uh, I look forward to coming back again because I think I will probably come back again. I will be coming back to Manila on my way through, on my way out of the uh, Philippines. So you never know, you never know. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I had a really enjoyable time. I'm so grateful that I'm able to make videos like this for you guys and you know enjoy myself at the same time as well as making a video for you. So thank you very much for watching. I'm making daily videos all the way through the Philippines and so I'll see you in tomorrow's video.